What is going on YouTube? Patrick the Picker here. It is Monday, August 21st, and I'm going to talk about something that I purchased about a week ago. So first off, I want to thank you for staying with the channel. Over the last couple of weeks, both of the boys have been sick off and on. I've been sick, but we've still had to work. It's been crazy. So no videos last week. I'm going to I'm going to get two up this week uh, assuming that the boys are going to stay healthy, which I think they are. Uh, I wanted to show live footage from this, but I'm not going to be able to. So here's the story. We went to this garage sale and we purchased the stuff in question, like the Game Boy that I'm talking about. And then I was talking to a viewer in the driveway afterwards, and the lady who ran the sale came out and asked me, uh, she said, oh, did you say you were filming? And I said, yeah, that's right. I have a YouTube channel. And she says, oh, well, can you delete the footage, please? And I was like, this is the best find of my life. And you want me to delete the footage like oh my goodness this is terrible news uh and so I've, i told her of course i will uh and then the our, my the person i was speaking with i believe her name was sarah she said uh why don't you ask her like if you can talk about uh maybe you can show a picture maybe just show a little tiny clip something like that so we, i went and negotiated with her a little bit more and uh talked about that and she said you can show a picture of it so unfortunately that's all i'm gonna be able to show you of the live footage i did do a um like a my normal recap afterwards so i'm able to conclude that uh so we'll get into that really quickly and then i'm going to do a little bit of a recap of what I'll, i purchased how much i paid and what the rest of the story was All right, you guys, so a definitely very weird video today. I did want to do some like candid right after the sale. Um, I'm guessing you saw in the intro like what was going on with this. Uh, I'll give you some more story when we get back to the homestead, but I wanted to do like my candid, here's the reaction, like my adrenaline is flowing so much. I was just so crazy. Um, yeah, I'll tell you the story when we get back, but here's, here's the, the thing, right? It's brand new and sealed. It does have a little damage where they took the, the price tag off right there. Otherwise, this thing is brand new and sealed. You guys, I think this is going to go for like $3,000. This is probably my best find of all time by a long shot. The last thing I found was that was this good was $1,500. So like doubles that. And it was funny because Amber and I were just talking about how my asking for video games hasn't been working this year. And then literally the next sale we go to, they bring this out to me. It's just crazy. Uh, there was a couple other items in there that we got. So we got Wii in box. We got some DS games here. And then I think, let's see if we can do this quickly without the camera being too shaky. I didn't even care what it was. It is a Nintendo DS with probably a couple more games in there. Nothing too exciting, but a couple more items. And then these shirts, which you guys didn't see in the footage. These Oktoberfest shirts from 1985. They are single stitch. I've never found single stitch before, so that was really cool to find that. They want $8 each, and I asked if I bought all nine, I think it was nine shirts, that if I could get them for $5 each, and they looked at me like I was crazy, <laughs> which is fine. You can ask what you want, and they said, I think they said $65 for all instead of 72, so $7 off, like always good to get it. Um, there's no exact comps for these. I didn't figure there were gonna be. There was one, I think, sold that was like $60 free shipping. So I'll probably be looking to get something like that. So just a fantastic deal just for those. All in, spent $435 there. So yeah, like I said, the in the intro, it was just a very strange circumstance. I was glad I was able to show you at least something from there. And then you've got my recap of what was there. Uh, like I said, it wasn't anything too exciting outside of that Game Boy. Like, holy cow, you guys, holy cow. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to the homestead and I'll tell you more about what was there. Here it is. Yeah, I've got it listed up on eBay right now for $3,000 if you're interested. I don't really expect this to sell quickly. That's okay. Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, I honestly have thought about keeping it and just adding it to my collection, but this isn't really what I collect. I mostly collect toys and video games that I've already played. Like that's the kind of stuff I collect because Especially for video games, I like to give them away to people at some point. Uh, but this was really cool, and I've got a couple of really cool Nintendo artifacts in my collection, so it's kind of like one of those things. But I think I'm going to sell it and invest the money back into my business. 
Um, I did kind of show everything else that we found. So we got that DSi and some games. It ended up being a DSi. You can see the camera there. And then the games. Nothing nothing super amazing on the games. Uh, what is it? Professor Layton in the Curious Village is the best one there. It's probably sell like 10 to $15, something like that. Uh, prices were pretty high. I probably would have skipped most of this stuff if the game world wasn't in the lot. Um, and then the Wii, I mean, right? It's a, it's a Wii inbox. <laughs> it's nothing too exciting, right? I'm going to bend over and grab the lot of t-shirts. This is, uh, it's Oktoberfest from Zinzinati. <laughs> This one's the oldest of them at 1983. They're really in fantastic shape. They're really a fun little find. Like, even without the Game Boy, I think I would have been excited to find those. So it was really fun. All right, so getting back into the story of it, right? To recap, we went to this garage sale. We looked around. We found some stuff. I asked for video games. They, The young lady there said, yes, I can go bring some out for you. So she did. She brings out this box. I saw there was a Wii in box. I wasn't, like, unhappy to see that. And then let's kind of, she just kind of lifts up this box with a Game Boy. And I'm like, that's interesting, Game Boy and box. And then I looked at it and it looked like it was sealed. And I said, that's that's impossible. And until I saw that price tag spot where I'm like, this is real. This is really happening. Uh, they priced the Wii at $60. They priced the DS at $35, $35. They priced the games at $10 a piece. Um, and then the shirts were originally nine, eight or nine dollars a piece, and I, I was able to talk them down to like seven dollars a piece, something like that. Uh, so they wanted in total two hundred thirty-five dollars, which I was happy to pay. I honestly had no idea how much the Game Boy was worth. Uh, right, it, it's a unicorn. This is not something you can study for ahead of time because you might run into it because you're not going to run into this thing. This is not a bolo because you're just, ne I've, I've been doing this for 10 years, you guys. I've never seen anything like this. I barely find Game Boys that are the original Game Boy like this as it is, let alone one brand new in box. I have found other stuff brand new in box, but not a lot of the really old 1980s, 1990s stuff. You're going to find more 2000 stuff, right? Um, and she, I remember the lady... Like they, they said, are you sure you priced it right? And the young lady said, yes, I looked everything up on eBay. And her brother was like, I think you made a mistake. And her mom was like, you, you've already told them a price. You can't change the price. And Amber and I were like, let's, let's talk about this when we get back to the car. So we walked up to the car and we started doing our own research. And I saw that the solds, even on like Terapeak going back in time, were selling for about $3,000, really anywhere from 2,500 up to 3,500, depending on condition. And then, of course, more if you can get it graded, if it's in really great pristine condition. Um, and I said, I think I underpaid for this. <laughs> so I went back down and I, I talked to them and they said, yeah, we, we're seeing the same prices that you are. And we definitely would have been charging a lot more for this. And I said, well, can, you know, concerning the situation, what can I do to make it right so where it's still affordable for me, but it it's not... Uh, a bad deal for you guys. And they said, if you, if you, if you Venmo us another $200, then, then that will call it even. So all in, I told you guys in the outro video part of this, uh, paid $435 for everything. So, I mean, even still, right, that is a fantastic deal. There's so much profit to be made. I think in total before fees, everything's going to sell for about $3,500 with the, with the Game Boy being the most of it, right? Um, it was just an amazing find, you guys, right? This is a once, like I told you, 10 years? This is this is the best item I've found by far in the, that's in the video game category. Other video game stuff I found that was good, you know, selling for hundreds of dollars, that kind of stuff. Like I sold a Game Boy game, uh, Shantae, a couple of years ago for 400 I thought that was, that was really good. Everybody would be happy to find that. <laughs> so amazing to find it like this. I, I'm rambling and I apologize. I apologize. Thank you if you made it this far. I really appreciate uh, all of my viewers out there. And, and like I said, thank you for waiting a week while we were we had sick boys at home last week. All right. Well, if you've made it this far, don't forget to uh, to like and subscribe. It really helps out. And leave me a comment. You know, tell me tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what your best find was. I always like to hear about that stuff. We're coming up, I think, on 1,900 subscribers. Uh, so once we hit 2,000, we'll do a, a giveaway again. I always like to do that. Uh, probably something like $200. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you're looking to do so, now would be the time to do it. Get in before the contest is announced. Of course, like if you subscribe after the contest is announced, that's okay too. 
but uh, just trying to hit that 2,000 number. I'd love to get there and uh, be able to, to, I don't know, it's just kind of a fun milestone. There's, there's nothing, there's no real benefits of hitting it. It's just fun for me. All right, you guys, uh, I will put up some comps. Thank you again for everybody who watched.